Uh, you talked about Jefferson, and you talked about all the great Americans, mm -hmm. and is it fair to say that this is really a country founded by heroes? I mean, the American dream is the dream to desire freedom. You have the right to freedom. Mm -hmm. and no one can deny you your freedom. Mm -hmm. And these heroic men set all this up so people today can live with that. And so you knew that you had to step in. They set it up, but they were short-sighted. Mr. Jefferson himself um, demanded liberty for himself, but was unwilling to preserve liberty for the black folks who he owned. There's a bit of bad in the best of us and a bit of good in the worst of us, and the humanity in all of us. Short-sightedness, misunderstanding, a failure to see the forest for the trees. Here on one hand, Mr. Jefferson demands justice for himself and is unwilling to preserve justice for other human beings. Now one can say that, well, he really, he really didn't make a mistake because he didn't consider black people to be his equal. He considered them to be beasts. Well, if that's the case, why did Mr. Jefferson then have so many black children? Why did he sleep with one of his black slaves if she was a beast, an animal? <laughs> you see. Well, I'm not going to condemn Mr. Jefferson. He, I'm as flawed as he is. I my suffer from the same kind of short-sightedness. But because one has flaws, because one fails, does not make one less heroic it perhaps makes them more heroic because we see in the face of their failings, in the face of their shortcomings, they still were able at moments to rise to pinnacles of greatness. If we look for perfect heroes, 